Today, I'm going to be explaining Backrooms Level 990, aka the Overgrown City. This level is lonely, it's liminal, and it's isolating. So I think you're really going to enjoy it, especially if you like being lonely and isolated. Thank you so much for watching this video, and let's get into the explanation, shall we? So level 990 has a classification of class variable because it has mysterious properties that we don't quite understand. There's also a ton of changes in the environment that could be dangerous if you're not knowing what you're doing, so listen up for this video if you want to know how you can survive. Now the level itself is split into two parts, the above ground city area and the underground sewer system. And I'll explain both of them individually in a second, but first, I'm going to briefly go over some notes about the entire level. The surface of this level is very calm. There's a light breeze blowing and a thick mist that covers most of the air around you. The mist and the breeze are hot though, so the entire level feels like a humid jungle. Like you're literally in the middle of a rainforest. Except there are city buildings there too. Above this mist, there's a light blue sky during the daytime and a dark purple sky at nighttime. So when it's dark, it's actually purple, which would be really cool if you think about it. This level, just like a ton of other ones, has a lot of non-Euclidean properties that mess up traversing and mapping it. So good luck trying to find where you're going. You might as well just go with the flow. Now these properties are actually more common when you're in a tight hallway or an alleyway or a sewer here. So if you're out in the open, you should be okay. Another weird thing here is that wanderers cannot meet up or see each other. Like if there's two people on the level at the same time, they'll never know because they can't see each other and they cannot interact which makes this level have a really strange isolation effect. Kind of like the level zero one. The buildings on this surface area are pretty similar to the ones from real life with just a couple differences. Like some of the signs are written in unknown letters or some of them are blank. And some of the architecture is a little too advanced for humans. But other than that, they're pretty normal. But also most of the building types, as you can see, are covered in vines and in leaves and are incredibly overgrown. There's also two main types of weather that can happen here. One is a calm and sunny type of vibe, you know, chill stuff. And the other is a torrential rain, like literally a monsoon rain. And these two weathers can flip instantly, just with a snap of a finger. One second, it'll be nice. And the next second, it'll start pouring the rain and the streets will be flooded. The last strange thing about the whole level is that the objects here that are inside of the buildings can randomly disappear and appear at all times. And this will happen with vending machines or water fountains or shelves or that kind of thing. Thing. Some of those items are not useful because they're old or whatever, but some of them are food and water. So if you get lucky, you could see a turkey or something teleport into a building right in front of you. So now I'll get into the two specific zones in more detail, the surface and the sewers. So the surface is the area I just touched on, and it's actually where you'll spawn if you get sent at this level. It's the easiest one to walk around in, and it's the easiest to explore, except for the non-Euclidean factors that could get you lost. The best way to describe the surface is that it's like an abandoned urban sprawl that's been overgrown and taken back by nature. The buildings have plants growing on the outside and growing on the inside, and even deeper inside of the buildings, there are gross, disgusting rooms full of decaying plants and mold, which is just nasty. And as I said earlier, this level is prone to random monsoon rain showers, so that means that the surface will be drenched with puddles and runoffs and waterfalls and everything like that too. And these rains can also flood the buildings or entire streets if you're not careful. Entities are pretty rare for this top part, but there are two main ones that have been witnessed so far. One is a strange shadowy figure that lurks in really, really overgrown areas of the city and in the alleyways. And the other is a strange type of water creature that's been seen in the flooding rains and waves of monsoons. Not much is known about either of them, but I'll tell you all we do know in the entity section. Now for the sewer section of the level. This is obviously a way more dangerous place, and it's much more dangerous in the surface, because it's very prone to flash floods. So you could just be walking in the tunnel of 
above the sewer, and then randomly, you could hear a rumble and turn around, and a huge thing of water will be coming right at you. There's also more non-Euclidean properties and more entities here, so just don't come here. Also, there is no natural light in these sewers, which is, of course, a hazard, but the biggest hazard is those flash floods, and you wouldn't want to be trapped inside of a sewer when it's flash flooding. Just like the top of the level, there is overgrown vegetation in the sewers as well, even though there's no light here, and you could trip and get tangled in it if you're not careful either. These sewers are accessed from alleyways or under bridges on the surface area, but to be honest, I'm not really sure why you'd want to come here. Now it's time for the entities, and as I said earlier, there is a weird shadow one that's been discovered on the surface level. They're pretty much just all black humanoid type shapes, and they've just been seen silently walking in the night. No one knows anything about it. They haven't attacked. They're just there. There's also those weird water creatures that I hinted at that appear during violent rainstorms and flooding. They have no description, but they're just part of the water, it seems. There's also a very specific entity that lives in the sewers called a sewer leech, which are snake-like water leeches that can grow up to eight inches long. They attach themselves to wanderer's clothes or flesh, kind of like just a normal leech, and they latch on with their teeth, and this could actually give you an infection if you don't wash the wound quickly. And these sewer leeches crawl up to the surface if it rains heavily and the sewers get flooded, so you'll have to watch out for them there too. The level itself was discovered on March 15th, 2022, to from an anonymous wanderer who called it a quote silent paradise but also there are weird shadows and a leech that wants to eat you so i'm not really sure what that person was thinking but whatever to enter the level you have to travel far into an abandoned old building on level 11 and you'll get sent here and to exit you can stay in the sewer for a long time or you can go into a weird building that's not overgrown to be sent back to level 11. nice That's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment the keyword City Brugly if you have made it this far. That way I can tell who the real ones are. Happy New Year's, everybody. This is the brand new year of Brugly uploads. This is year three, which is absurd. Thank you so much for sticking around. I love and appreciate all of you. Make sure to go to the description, check out my second and third channels if you want more content from me. Also, most importantly, tell somebody you appreciate and love them because life is short. Also, if you missed my video on my second channel, Brugly 2, where I explain my new upload schedule, I am uploading once every three days instead of once every two days like I did last year. And I'm doing this just so I can focus more on the quality of the videos and so I can do more videos for Spoogly and Brugly 2 and that kind of thing. So yeah, you're going to get a video on here once every three days. Hopefully that's okay with you. Thank you for watching, supporting me, and I will see you later.